Hey guys, welcome to your fourth Cod World at War Zombies mod menu based scripting tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be displaying the actual menu text on the screen in proper text instead of messing around with little debug text at the top left hand corner. So, first of all, you're going to want to go into your debug class and on init menu, then you're going to want to thread a new function which we're going to create in a second and let's just call it display menus. So display menus, and it doesn't need any parameters, and just make it end on def, and <coughs> stop menu. Now we're going to want to make it constantly loop, so just go ahead and put four uh, bracket, semicolon, semicolon, bracket, curly brace, and then a, a finishing curly brace as well. And then in between the two curly braces, just go ahead and put wait.1. And that's just going to wait 0.1 second to actually loop. And now we're going to want to actually create a font string. So let's just go ahead and put, um, let's just put menu text, no, hang on. Let's put 4 i equals 0, i is less than level dot menu dot size or level dot menu square bracket self dot cur menu square bracket dot size semicolon i plus plus and all that's doing is it's creating a new variable um, as the variable name i equal to zero and it's saying while well, i is less than level dot menu self dot cur menu dot size then it's gonna run this block of code and then plus one to i now level dot menu self dot cur menu dot size that's the total amount of um, uh, I don't know what you want to call it values if you want to call it that uh, values within the level dot menu and then the first um, parameter which for now we've got self dot cur menu equal to zero just here and then we're going to be making that change later on when we well probably actually next tutorial so yeah it's just counting the total amount of menus within our level dot menu and then our current menu so once we've done that then we can go ahead and put menu text i in square brackets equals create font string objective for the font the size we'll just put to 1.5 and then just put self to display it on the current player's um, screen. Now we can go ahead and put self te sorry menu text i set point and we'll just put center center naught naught menu text i set text and we'll just go ahead and put this equal to level dot menu um, self dot cur menu i and then that's about it um, there is one thing hang on right we're also going to need to create another new function just call this destroy weight and this does need a parameter, so just put lm, standing for um, element. Now, in this, all we need to do is just put self, wait till, and this is going to wait till a notification. And we'll just put destroy lms, and then under that, just go ahead and put lm destroy. So that's just going to destroy whatever we give it as element. And then underneath here, we can just put um, self thread destroy wait uh, menu text i. And then underneath this wait point one, we can just go ahead and put um, self notify destroy lms. Okay, so actually one thing that we also need to add is we're going to need to add 
a if statement. So I just do this. If self dot menu open equals equals true. Because obviously we only want this to happen once they have the menu open. So then we can also go ahead and move this back down here. Okay, right. So hopefully that should be fine. So now we can go ahead and test this out. So just go ahead and save it and I'll see you on World at War. Okay guys, so we can see that it's not got any syntax errors. So just need to wait for this to load up. Oh by the way, um, you can tell if it's got any syntax errors because on this map uh, the loading bar will get stuck about a quarter of the way in. So if it gets past a quarter of the way then you should be good to go. So here we go, so we're in the game, press melee and it will enable our menu and you can see that it's actually created proper text in the middle of our screen. Now there is actually something that I failed at and as you can see it's all like put together so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly swap back to scripting um, and then show you how to fix that. Alright guys, so there's actually one thing that I forgot to do. Uh, it is actually fully working, um, just that all of the text is put to the same point. Now to fix this, then we're just going to want to simply change each time that it creates a new uh, value onto the array menu text. Um, change the position of that one by a little bit. So here we can see we've got set point, center, center, zero, zero. Now this is the X and Y. So we're just going to make it go um, vertically. So to do this, just go ahead and put, well, we'll just put I times 20. So the first time it runs, then it'll be 20. Next time it runs, it'll be 14. Next time it runs, it'll be 60. And so on. So just go ahead and save that. And now we can go ahead and test this out. Okay, guys. So just go ahead and load up the mod and then load up a map. Okay, and now if we go ahead and press melee, you can see that it's now separated out the text a little bit so that we can actually read each um, option individually. So that's it guys, and I hope you liked the tutorial. Uh, feel free to show your support, leave a like and things, and subscribe for the next one. See you then.